is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode and another great day. So we went swimming today at my parents' pool. We were gonna go to the creek again, which y'all will see in the last video, I'll link it right, right there. Great day. We had a lot of fun at the creek. We're going back Friday. I got my drone working. I got my GoPro working. I'm gonna make another video, but it's gonna be good. I mean, this last one was good, don't get me wrong, but the, the quality of the video is gonna be much better. The drone footage that I got on the last video just wasn't all that great. But anyway, about today's video. I'm not gonna go on about that nonchalant stuff. You guys are here for one thing and one thing only. The greatest, by far, Garmin LiveScope mount that they make. While I got you guys here, if you would, be sure, smash that subscribe button Hit the bell for notifications, that way you get notified every time I post a new video because I do a lot of stuff on my Garmin LiveScope that I haven't even got to use yet. And we're gonna have a lot of crappie fishing coming up, but I also do a lot of other things. So if, if you don't like the fact that I go out and do vlogs with my family, camping, cooking, all that good stuff, don't hit the subscribe button. It just, it's not a channel for you. But I love doing vlogs. I love doing how-tos. I love going out crappie fishing, catfish fishing, catching fish, and putting them on the internet for you guys. So today's video is all about my Garmin LiveScope. I had a lot of people in the last, oh, I think it was the boat tour. They wanted to know about my Garmin LiveScope. I even had a lot of people on Facebook hit me up. They were like, dude, where did you get that mount? I cannot find a mount that comes up really high like yours. Well, the th reason is, is because I built mine. I built it from scratch pretty much. I actually got lucky and at work they had, it was a, a four station computer monitor screen and they were gonna throw it away cause they got new ones. And I was like, hey, that'll work perfect for my Garmin LiveScope, can I have that? But let me show you guys. All right, I got it. So it was two of these, which are, they're curved. I had two of these and they got the mount that goes over the pole, which it came with the pole, the base and everything. But I fabricated it. And let me show you guys what I've done. So it came with the plate and I had enough room in between here and my pedal to mount this plate. All this is, is basically a Oh, two inch pipe. And I, it, I can actually take this thing out. So all I gotta do is unhook it from the unit. I can push all these wires up in here and they're pretty much hidden and they're just there. So I can take this out if I'm not using the Garmin LiveScope, which I probably never will once, it, once it's all here. But that deal, I cut it down, I drilled holes through it and I mounted the Garmin unit in place. So let me uh, let me hook this up here. I'll show you guys how this thing works. And we'll go over it and uh, I'll kind of show you guys exactly everything that I have done to get this Garmin unit installed. I'll put the Garmin unit on. We can turn it on, activate it, show you guys everything. But so far I'm really impressed with the mount that I built. Probably should patent it. So one of you guys, lucky guys out there, I haven't patented it yet. So. I feel free, but let me hook it up. We'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, that was that simple. It just screws back on. Let me show you guys exactly. I got the wiring out here. Let me get it out of the hole here. So we got all the wires and basically there's a hole right here that came with the pipe. I cut a hole right here and then I put the rubber, you see how I put that rubber stuff around? That way it doesn't cut my cables. But all I do as I, I just feed them up through here, do one at a time. We'll do the big one. This right here's your power cable. It's a little bit bigger. Get 
you can see the power cable right there just pops through once it's in this right here is the live scope transducer wire it has a um, it has a like a like a real small connection for your live scope unit that converts over to this a pigtail that's what they call it it's a pigtail so those come through and that's it it mounts up up right there so let me show you I'll, I'll take you off the tripod here show you guys a little bit close up of this so this screwed in it has a set screw right here so I can lock it in place and then I bought this, it's a RoboCup. I bought it off of Amazon. It was like $24.99. It just squeezes around the pipe. It's got little Velcro deals. There we go. I bought these. So they're hanging here. Hooked them on. This came with a screw. So they're screwed on right here so they won't go nowhere. I even have my line cutter hanging over here. That is it. I end up. I also had to buy a plug to cap the top. Basically, that's it. It's a pretty cool little setup, I think. You can see how high it is. It's just like right there in my face. I like that. I didn't want to be bending over trying to look at my locator the whole time I was fishing. I wanted it right there so I could so I could stick my poles out off the front of the boat here and I could I could jig. Now I also have this still. This right here can actually mount right here. And I have a spider rigging system that'll hold four poles. It'll hook onto this and I can spider rig if I want to, but I don't do that very often. So let me grab my unit, throw my unit on and I'll show you what it looks like with the unit up there. And then we'll be done with this video. So let me grab that unit. All right, so when I got the unit, I've got this part. This is just the 93 SV. Um, I got it in already. The live scope uh, transducer is, I have it ordered. I'm just waiting for Garmin to receive it and uh, ship it to me. So they have them at Bass Pro. I got a deal on my unit, so I would just go to Bass Pro and buy it, but I got the transducer for, I just got it a lot cheaper. So I'm not gonna go pay full price for it at Bass Pro Shop, so. But I'll show you guys how this mounts up and we'll hook it up, I'll turn it on. I'll climb up here, kind of show you guys the downward angle view of it and um, let y'all see what it looks like. All right, that's it. It's that simple. Got the power wire hooked up. We're ready to rock and roll. I still got my Lowrance down here too, so I can kind of see it and use it for uh, this, the sonar part of it, but <clears throat> we don't need this anymore. All right, so it's hard to do anything in this shop, but 93SV is touchscreen. I love this thing. So let's check this sucker out. So this is it. It's on. See from the top, got my cup holder down there, pliers, everything in hand. This is where my wire is coming through. I don't have that one hooked up because I don't have the live scope transducer yet, but this wire is ran back behind to my console where I'm gonna hook my black box up at. So there is that, the pigtail will hook to this. I'll push this all back down in this pipe and plug it into the back. So yeah, that's basically it. You can see how high up it sits compared to my seat. I'll set the tripod up out here so you can kind of see exactly how high on my waist this thing sits. 
So I can't like really show you with the pole because I'm in my garage, but I had to shut the garage door because the garage door was hitting me like it's up here. So, but you can see this thing sits. I mean, it's right here within a touch reach. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Garmin Live Scope set up on my boat. I haven't got to use it yet, so I don't know if I like it. Pretty sure I'm gonna like it though. But that's all I got for you guys today. Um, like I said, I had some people in my last video that wanted me to, my last boat tour video, they wanted me to go over my live scope setup as far as my mount for the um, unit. There's a lot of people out there that are like me that don't wanna have to look all the way down here to the floor at the Garmin unit. They want, they want it to be like right here too so they're not bending over trying to watch the screen. And that was what I was thinking whenever I decided to fabricate this thing. But I like it, looks great, turned out great. Um, this thing was black already. Um, everything in my boat's black, um, so that matched. I got lucky on that part. I ended up spray painting it black anyway, just to kind of give it a coat because there was some scratches on it, but it all looks good to me. That's all I got for you guys today. Like I said earlier, I like to do vlogs. I like to do fishing stuff. I like to do gardening. I like to do everything outdoors. That is why my channel name is Pure Living for Outdoors. So if you would, please hit that subscribe button down here. Hit the like button, ring the bell for notifications, and come on over, join the fun. But until next time, I will see you guys on the next video.